Good morning, everybody. It's the Black Car Guru back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the big block Chevy, the small block 350, and even the LT1. We'll also be throwing some LS content in here. Some people call them boat anchors, other people call them the wonder engine. Now, when it comes to making big ass horsepower, I suggest you use the Gen 4 to 6 big block Chevy with the four boat main. People forget that the before the LS engine even came out, big block Chevys were the go-to swap engine. Top end kits are the best way to spice up your big block Chevy. Now, it's, it's pros and cons to it. Pros are, well, everything's pretty much all together. All you need to do is buy it for a specific price. You don't have to nickel and dime yourself finding a high rise intake and then going to find the gaskets, you the right gaskets you need for your build and shit like that, the right heads and the, nah, they already have it together. You just need to figure out what type of top end kit you want to run. So if you want to do a top end kit instead of piecing everything together yourself, it'll be best to go with a broad cylinder head top end kit. With just the top end kit alone, you can see 600 horsepower all motor on a big block Chevy and about 650 foot pounds of torque. But let's say that isn't enough and you want more cubic inches. You can bore and stroke it to a 496. If you're going to boost this thing, it's very important to remember that if you're going for, okay, so if you're going for naturally aspirated horsepower, you need to bump up your compression ratio to like 12 point something to one or 13 point something to one. Great. But if you're going for boost, you need to lower that compression or you'll send the heads into the stratosphere. This Lunati Stroker Kit has a compression ratio of 8.3 to 1. Good for if you're trying to boost is like put a 300 shot of nitrous on it or pro charge it to hell. You can go way out the box and add a turbo to this motherfucker. Upgrade your oil pump. An 850 CFM carburetor. And a nice aggressive ass cam. Add a 3500 stall and a built TH400 or two speed power glide if you want to. You can drop it inside of a Monte Carlo LS. A Sonoma. Throw some slicks on that motherfucker. Procharge that whole 454 combination and throw it inside a Landau Chevy with a Pro Charger. A box Chevy with a 200 shot of nitrous. You could even do a twin turbo 454 third gen Camaro. Or you can go way outside the box and say, you know what? Fuck it. You know, 400 shot of nitrous. Throw it inside of a New Edge Mustang. Throw some slicks and skinnies on it, a road cage. And you got you a nice little street car. This is part one of my little series I'm doing. Um, the 5.7 LT1 and the LS engines are next. So stay tuned. Love you guys.